The Supreme Court has given petitioners seeking an interlocutory injunction to stop the approval of the anti-gay bill some time to refile some motions at the court. Broadcast journalist Richard Delaskai and researcher Dr. Amanda Odoi are challenging the passage of the anti-LGBTQ plus bill by parliament thus halting the transmission of the bill to President Takufado for his assent. At the Supreme Court on Wednesday, Mr. Sky was given up to May 17 to file a new motion, affidavit and statement of case. There is more in the following report. Lawyers of Richard Delaskai were seeking to amend the reliefs as they observed an omission on the motion paper for the interlocutory injunction. Lawyers for the Speaker of Parliament, led by Tadio Sori, however, raised a preliminary objection to the application. According to Tadio Sori, the attempt by Richard Sky to amend the reliefs will be overreaching the objections they have raised in relation to the same reliefs. What? I have indicated my objection to the release endorsed on the face of his application for injunction. He cannot avoid the consequences of that objection by filing a motion. Lawyers of Richard Laskai, relying on provisions of the High Court Rule CI-47, noted that the rules grant them a right to seek leave of the court to amend any proceedings before the court. The step adopted by us in filing motion for amendment. Yes. Is very much warranted by the use of force. You mean it's a court? Exactly. And the Lord did not done anything at all. Attorney General Godfrey Yabada may questioned why lawyers of the Speaker of Parliament will have issue with the move by Richard Laskai to amend the reliefs. Shows no material difference from the beliefs or religious of In fact, the second belief is actually the same substantially as the second belief or religious of The court dismissed the objection, describing it as unnecessary and gave permission to Richard Alaskai to amend the reliefs on the motion paper. Our consideration is that the alleged preliminary objection is unnecessary and does not seek to assist any process before the court. Every party has an inherent right to present the appropriate formulation of their reliefs or other process before the court to enable the court to determine the new parties in controversy. The objection is dismissed. His lawyers also requested permission from the court to file a supplementary affidavit to their affidavits in opposition to the application for interlocutory injunction. Attorney General Godfrey Abuadame, however, opposed this application on grounds that the matters they posed to are not matters of fact, but rather points of law that the rules of the court do not support. Lawyers for the second defendant, the Speaker of Parliament, suggested that the court should rather direct for the applicants to file a fresh motion that includes the amended reliefs and the supplementary affidavit. The Supreme Court, presided over by Chief Justice Gertrude Eseba Tokunu, agreed with the suggestion and asked Richard Delaskai to file a new motion by May 17. Lawyers for Richard Delaskai, after proceedings, expressed satisfaction with the process. In law, a motion cannot derogate from the writ and the statement of claim. So where one realizes that his state is motion and affidavit in support is not in tandem with his uh, uh, rate of summons and statement of claim, he has an unfettered right to amend. And if you don't do that and the matter proceeds, 
by the motion, you risk a very big chance. And that's what we didn't want to go through. So to us, it was a proper review and the correction were in order. The Attorney General, on the other hand, used the opportunity to explain how his outfit is approaching this matter. The most important thing about this proceedings is that it's been opened up to the public. There's transparency and anybody can see what is happening. What are your I, I don't have any it, it appears. If you notice, my position in this matter has not been to take the side of one party or the other. It had a plenty for the defendant. There was a time counsel for um, the parent of Ghana was actually saying that on certain occasions I am for him, certain occasions I'm against him. Yes, he had issue. He had, he had issue with that. But why would you have a, an issue? So the point is that I have to be very objective and fair, and that is what I've been doing. On certain occasions, applications filed by um, counsel for the plaintiff, which is Kai, I was supposed to them that really they, they cannot be allowed in terms of rules, and the language was even improper in order the court or not to allow. Said the occasion to offer that no, no harm or injustice will be caused. The parties in the two cases, that's the Richard Delaskai case and that of Dr. Amanda Odoi, who are requested to file certain processes. The court would then issue hearing notices before we come back to the Supreme Court for a possible determination of the injunction applications. That would then make way for the hearing of the substantive cases. Reporting for City News, Hansen Acheman.